Hey everybody, today I am talking about Australian whiskey, specifically Starward, and this is their Nova. What is the main difference with an Australian whiskey like this one? You're talking about red wine barrels. We all know the maturation process, 100% of your color is gonna come from that barrel, but about 65 to 70% of your flavor is gonna come from that barrel as well. So this is a combination of Cabernet, Shiraz and Pinot Noir cask that they're aging their 100% malted barley in and it gives it a really unique flavor. So like over in Scotland, it's 100% malted barley, but they're utilizing X bourbon casks or X whiskey casks from America. This, they're taking all the local wineries. We know the Aussies, they love their coffee and they love their red wine. They're utilizing all the wineries around that area and aging their whiskey in there. The age statement on this one, two years. Now you might say, well, that's not long enough for me. However, the climate over in Melbourne in Australia is wild. They say you can get four seasons into one day, Arctic from the South, very much a lot of heat coming from the North, right? And that's gonna get fluctuations. A lot of people don't know if they're, it can be any day of the year. They don't know if they're grabbing a winter coat and, and an umbrella or they're grabbing a towel for the beach. So that is great for maturing whiskey, right? So a lot of, uh, bourbon companies down in Kentucky are going to use heat inside their warehouse. So it's a heat cycled warehouse that they'll they'll utilize when it's cold. They'll turn it on. Australia, it's just wild like that all the time. So you're getting a really, really quick maturation process. I mean, just look at that color in there. It's pretty wild. I've got myself a little taste. Um, I do a lot of consumer events and a lot of people either love this or they completely hate it. I think it's kind of fun and funky. So that's why people like it. Other people are like, this is not my bourbon, this is not my scotch, I don't know what this is. However, let's give it a try. It's a really nice nose. I mean, you do get some of that kind of red wine, those berries. It's kind of fun on the nose. Let's taste it. I mean, this malt, you get that right up front, but it's not scotch, right? So there's no peatiness, there's no smokiness to it. It's almost kind of the other side, some caramel, some vanilla a little bit of like a creme brulee um, that's happening in here. It's more kind of the sweeter, sweeter side of everything. And this is kind of, to me, I like it. It's kind of fun. It's kind of funky, like I said, um, but it's not for everybody. So I need to know if, if you're a whiskey drinker, have you had Australian whiskey? Have you had the Star Word before? What do you think of it, right? They, they, they're kind of breaking the rules. Um, it's something that's affordable. This one, the Nova will run you about $55. They also make one that's in sherry cast. They make one that's weeded. Um, as well, that's a little bit cheaper. So a lot of Australian whiskey, because of the rules that they've had over the last decade or so, it's very expensive. But this is one of the first ones I've seen that's very affordable. I like it. To me, it's kind of fun. I can sip on it. Uh, I'd recommend maybe next dinner party, maybe crack open a red wine whiskey instead of like a wine, a, a bottle of wine. Uh, you can hit everybody. You can hit the wine drinkers and the whiskey drinkers make everybody happy. So it's pretty cool. I'm going again. And again, it's, it's a lot of the, it's a lot of berries and, and, and kind of fruitiness. That's really kind of nice. But like you said, you still get a lot of that malt. Um, so it's pretty good. Hey everybody, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. If you want a virtual event, we can ship little tasting kits over to you, your friends, your colleagues. Uh, so please click in the link. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.